Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about the emails that we're going to send to our customers once they purchase our courses. So let's go to our dashboard and toward the bottom, we're going to click on settings. Now, once we're in here, we're going to mosey on over to email templates and click that. Now, here is quite an extensive list of emails that you can have sent out for various reasons. Now, feel free to go through and take a look at some of these. Some of them have to do with the community, which is really Kajabi's version of like a Facebook group. Cart abandonment we talked about already. Some affiliate announcements. But the ones I really want to talk about are these two. The member welcome email and the offer purchase confirmation. All right, so to the top one, and we can click on it here. Okay, so here it is. Now, it might look crazy to you if you're not used to any kind of code syntax or what a liquid variable is, but you don't have to worry about it. All you have to promise me is that you won't touch anything between these curly braces, okay? Now, you can switch it around, but don't, don't uh, remove this, especially this stuff, because this is dynamically generated when they go through the whole checkout process. What we're going to do here is you can certainly say, dear, and this is going to be the member name. Okay, they'll give you options down here. You want to just keep it. Really don't change anything that's already here. If you want to add something, by all means, go ahead. So maybe you could say, dear, and it's going to have the member name. And maybe we could say down here, thank you for your purchase or for enrolling in my course. Okay. And then it can go on and on and on. It's, it's going to give them some login information. Don't, again, don't mess with this. This is dynamically generated. And at the very bottom, you could probably say, you know, regards and then your name. All right. So like I said, don't mess with it too much, but you can certainly add to it. Okay. Now let's hit save. Okay. We can certainly send, definitely send yourself a test email to see how that goes. And I'm going to send a preview. And let me just preview this in the browser. Okay, so it's going to say, Dear Jane Doe, thank you for enrolling in my course. So this is what we added. Okay. It says, we have set up an account for you on Lady Course Creators, which is the title of our site, right? And now they generated this sample. So they're going to want to know this. This is going to be their username or what, whatever password, uh, sorry, email that they put in, plus a randomly generated password that they'll be able to change once they log in. And of course, here's the directions to log into the site. Just follow the link below which is coming from here. So please don't, I, know, I just lost that. <laughs> so please don't um, change too much because that is what's getting dynamically generated. And yeah, then you can just hit, cut, you know, regards and your name. Okay. So that's the first one. And let's go back to the settings. It's just quicker to go that way. Go back into email templates. Let's go down to offer purchase confirmation. And here it is. So Right now, let's, let's do it the opposite. Let's see what it looks like in the browser. So right now it says, congratulations. There's no name. And it says, thanks for purchasing whatever the offer is. Okay, it's obviously going to be filled in uh, through the checkout. Buy, and this is our course title or, you know, our site title. And again, it's going to say you can log in with your email and password with the link below. And they're going to hit log in. Okay, and here is automatically generated your email and so on and so on. All right, so this is what it looks like as it's written in a liquid code. So you can certainly say congratulations. Now, I, I'm not going to, you know what? I'm not even going to do that because I don't want to mess it up and then have you guys copy me and then it's a hot mess <laughs> going forward. So, but if you wanted to, you can certainly say thank you for your purchase confirmation up here. Uh, any other things that you might want to add? Uh, looking forward looking forward to, to working with you, things like that. Um, you know, kind regards and then that. Okay. So feel free to add stuff. Please, please, please don't mess with any of the stuff that's in there. Okay. So that's how you're going to go and edit those emails. Now let's just go back for the fun of it and go into just check out a few more of these. I don't know if you're going to have affiliates. Uh, here's one for member drip notifications. So this is sent to members daily if dripped categories become available to them. Let's just see what that is. Okay, let's preview in the browser. It says there is new content available for you at Lady Course Creators. Okay, and here is what they have set up as a sample. So again, go through them as you need. It's really awesome. You know what? When you if you can open them in the browser and kind of set them up side by side so you can see 
what gets affected by which line. All right. So this is a great way to learn how to, you know, sort of understand the code. So instead of hello, you might want to say hi there. So now it says hi there, Jane Doe. Okay. So you could just, you know, play around with it and just see. But again, stay away from any of this funky stuff. Okay. Promise. <laughs> All right. That's it for now. That's how you customize the emails that you will be sending out to your affiliates and your customers. I'll see you in the next lecture.